Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to My Thoughts On. My name is Isaac Proach, and today you're listening to My Thoughts On Taiko no Tatsuzen Pop Tap Beat by Bandai Namco. Uh, probably did not pronounce the entirety of that correct, but I've, I've seen it shorthand to just Taiko Pop Tap Beat or just Taiko. And uh, for those of you that don't know, Taiko is referring to the big Japanese style Taiko drum. And I honestly didn't know much about or like what this instrument was until I saw the game on, was it Switch first? Yeah, I, I had first seen this on Nintendo Switch. I had seen this really cool, a- Amazon has them, different places sell them, but you can get like official and a third party made, the Taiko drum hardware piece, and then you can plug that into your Switch, play along and just get more immersive there uh, versus like the, the normal controls on controller and touch and all of iOS, stuff like that. But uh, nonetheless, I had seen Taiko n- pop tap beat. I had seen Taiko uh, pop tap I'd seen it on Switch and really wanted to give it a try. Uh, it reminded me of sort of the Rock Band days and the Guitar Hero, just th- those old, like, really great rhythm games and just that whole era. And uh, I, di- I unfortunately didn't. So when I got onto Apple Arcade, I found this. I was thrilled. I wanted to try it out. I thought for sure there was going to be some things that would be better played on the actual drum. But overall, I had a ton of fun with Tycho on my phone. And I would say this is definitely a must-play for Apple Arcade. Even if you don't, even if you aren't a fan of the music in particular, because the, so, sorry, backing up, gameplay. You, the game is very simple. You're going to see notes of music flying across the screen, and as they head to the left side of the screen, you want to tap either red or blue. Red indicates the inside of the drum, blue indicates the rim of the drum, and then there's different variations between that depending on difficulty. So as the notes are coming in at you, you're going to want to respond and react just like any other rhythm game. You'll get more points based off of uh, better timing, and then you can get combos. There's like a, a minimum kind of uh, completion success rate that you need for each song and then outside of that once you hit the minimum there's like a goal or like max score you can get and uh, obviously if you 100% no mistakes like you're always going to be hitting that max goal on the right hand side of the score indicator but um yeah so the gameplay loop is very simple it's very quick to get into that's another reason why I love Tycho on my phone it was uh just a fun thing to fill time in between doing activities or working or waiting for a render whatever it may be have a couple moments couple minutes play a couple songs and um, the progression, there, there isn't like a, a storyline or any sort of like campaign that you're playing through. It's merely just like play the songs, get uh, chase the higher scores, chase the leaderboard upgrades. The cool thing, though, that's tied into progression is cosmetics. So none, none of the cosmetics from what I could see, and I didn't like investigate too far into it to see like what kind of microtransactions but from a glance i don't think there's any microtransactions in tyco on apple arcade so playing through tyco pop tap you're going to be unlocking points and those points will be getting you treasure chests or like little chest box uh basically like your your reward box so you get those each incremental upgrade or level up you're going to get a, a treasure chest to open and then within opening that you get all the cosmetics and different things you can customize your little drummer too um you can also do that when it comes to not just customizing the cosmetics of your character, because that doesn't really change much. Actually, the cosmetics in general aren't going to change anything for the gameplay. Uh, but I did really like the cosmetics tied to like the game backgrounds, the music notes, the different stylings. So if if you're like, imagine you're playing a chess game online and you change like the way the pieces look in the board. That's very much what you're getting with uh, some of the upgrades there. So I definitely I think. Uh, as I got further into the game and played more of the songs, I was hoping that there would be some sort of campaign or level progression, but I, I also see the the pros and all of the upsides to just having it be a quick jump in, jump out. You're not worried about story or anything, and you're just playing to have fun on this mobile game. Um, so yeah, the, the cosmetics are awesome. There's tons of different variations. There's like Kid Icarus uh, suits. There's different colors. There's different styles. Uh, one of my favorites is like the little sushi. You can make your drum character a bunch of different sushi cats. So tons of fun. Another just little, another uh, dopamine hit when it comes to chasing those uh, records, the high scores, because yeah, you aren't getting like level one completed, level two completed. You're, you're unlocking things. So 
Then, moving on to soundtrack, the, even if you aren't a fan of the music in particular, you're going to find some stuff on there that you think is catchy, I, I, I promise, or even if you aren't a fan of the traditional soundtrack uh, sections and the categories there, they also have, like, popular, uh, I think it's called popular as a section, or popular scores, and that has, like, movie soundtracks that are cool, so you can play the Star Wars theme, the Ra- Jurassic Park, Pirates of the Caribbean is even on there. I had a ton of fun going through the anime section. You can play the Akira, like, street chase scene music. Uh, you can play uh, uh, the Cowboy Bebop opening. So there, there's some really strong highlights here when it comes to the soundtrack. And obviously I th- that's v- crucial for a game like this. For a rhythm game, you need the soundtrack to be polished and, and great from front to back. And Tycho does that. Tycho especially, even with it being a mobile game on, on Apple Arcade, I wasn't... Uh, wasn't looking at the song list and kind of disappointed. I was looking at it like, oh, wow, there's a lot here. I definitely haven't played through all of the songs. I definitely haven't like 100%ed any of them really to their full capacity because you're also going to have easy, normal, hard, and some other hardcore mode that the difficulty, and depending on the song, really ramp up. So I think that's also some of the joy with Tycho is since there's not a particular like campaign or level progression that's forcing you to complete certain songs, it allows you to just have more fun with the ones you enjoy and then just getting more and more, uh, just more ironed out in terms of consistent combos. And then from there, there were definitely songs, for example, the, the movie soundtracks, much easier in general compared to the anime side of things or the traditional like pop uh, music they have on there. It's a lot more fast paced and uh, just more difficult in general. And my cat is currently going to just start producing this as well because he's touching my phone somehow with his nose um (laughs) but yeah so shout out to asami he had a ton of fun with taiko pop as well let me just push him down there come on Uh, he's okay he's fine but um but yeah so the soundtrack it has to be good it is good it's great on here it's um pretty varied uh i did find quite a few songs like out the gate just frustratingly hard compared to some of the other ones when you look at the same difficulty level so for example again it's like the star wars theme the different movie soundtracks they were much easier to play on hard difficulty and then it's uh, i had uh just overestimated overestimated my confidence and skills in this and so i would jump over to one of the main popular songs or the pop ones try it on hard difficulty and I was just getting destroyed just not keeping up and just having a hard time even clearing that that minimum requirement um and that also reminds me a good point too is even though there is a fail condition for each of these and you can essentially just like zero out on a song that there you don't just like it's not for nothing at the end of each of those attempts you still get points added to your uh, treasure chests and your treasure box unlocks. So even as I was failing songs and figuring out like, okay, where am I comfortable on this difficulty? I was still getting rewarded uh, in the back end with the cosmetic unlocks. So that that was a ton of fun as well to see. I would hate to just kind of like waste your time hitting your head against the wall with different songs you're attempting and not not seeing any other like payoff for it really. And I think that's also another thing that uh, the mobile version of Tycho Pop does really well is it just makes sure the payoff is just so centered around the gameplay loop and the simplicity of this um i i imagine and i haven't played the switch one yet but i imagine with the switch one there's probably going to be some different modes and probably even multiplayer combined and um just more more of a a gameplay loop to kind of pull you back in whereas i think this mobile game of taiko pop really does shine as like the the epitome of the core gameplay loop and can get you hooked pretty easily and um it's definitely one of those games, too, where it's very easy to learn, very easy to pick up, but very hard to master. And that learning curve just exponentially goes up as you get into the harder difficulties. Um, but yeah, and so the the art tied into the soundtrack, incredible as well. I think the level of polish from gameplay, soundtrack, and art, and just replayability are definitely here. They're present 10 out of 10 for Tycho Pop. The, the must-play attributes of this just, uh, again, shine through with the art and all of the animations, the even the menu buttons and the play buttons and triggering things. They're all, all themed and on brand to the Tycho universe, I guess is what you would call it. Uh, I just love those little details, animations between... Uh, between songs, you'll see little characters. Again, they don't change any of the gameplay, but it's just fun visuals to watch as you're doing well. Uh, characters will start dancing. The backgrounds are going to start dynamically changing. There's tons of different, uh, just different special effects and differences between the songs even that make it make it a ton of fun to explore and play through more of Tycho Pop. 
so yeah, I, I I will end it there. I think if you can't already tell, I I'd even said earlier this is a must play. Taiko no Tatsu Zen Pop Tap Beat by Bandai Namco is a masterful Apple Arcade experience. I think it's a must play. I think from replayability, even just uh, regardless of the age you're at, I think it's a good fun just like escapism game that a lot of us can enjoy and. Yeah, so th- thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening along. Thank you for getting to the end of this episode. If you have, it would be a huge favor. It would mean a lot to me if you would go in and just interact with us on socials for my thoughts on, whether that be, oh, and Asami's doing this. Are you serious, dude? All right. Go. Oh. But, um, okay. Hopefully that's not too discombobulated from the original frame. And, uh, yeah, so, I'm Isaac Proach. Those are my thoughts on Taiko no Tatsuzen Pop Tap Beat by Bandai Namco. Thanks so much to everyone tuning in. New episodes incoming. And like I had said briefly before, saw me cut in. Uh, just do me a huge favor if you got to the end of this. Just interact with us on social media, either giving us a like on the actual, a like or a follow on the actual podcast page, the Patreon, the YouTube, all the stuff interconnected to myself and the content creation on next valley it would it would mean the world and it's a huge help so i'm going to continue to play through my my apple arcade list for my thoughts on season two we're halfway through right now i think this is uh, episode six so we're on the on the we're more than halfway through for the 10 episode season we're going to do and i'm excited because i already have season three kind of mapped out planned out and then season four i think is going to be another springboard kind of stepping off point for me to branch off of Apple Arcade potentially. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll stick with it. It depends on the the catalog there. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that and more info as the seasons continue to roll out for my thoughts on. And um, yeah, so wherever you are in the world, thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Peace, everybody. Video games are cool.